Hey, Jim and I, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. Really appreciate you. So um, this, I'm trying something a little bit new. This is going to be a reading, Jim and I, for the next five days. So for those of you who have a tarot deck, you don't have to have a tarot deck, but it's just something I want to try. Um, if you want to pull some cards right along with me, you can do that, and we'll discuss in the comments what you guys got. Um, so I'm doing five cards, and then I want to clarify each card with three, okay? You can just read however you read intuitively. There's no right or wrong way. Um, it's just something that, you know, I wanted to let you know in case you wanted to read like that, but read however it feels right to you for those of you who are going to follow along with me and see what you get. I just think it's interesting because sometimes people get different cards, but they'll get the same message. So I think that's pretty interesting, but even if you get a different message, uh, leave it down below. It could be for someone, okay? So let's go ahead and start here, Gemini. Go ahead and start here, Gemini. Like I said, even for those of you who don't have a tarot deck, like this isn't, you know, you don't have to have one. This can still be for you. It's not limited, okay? Also, any information you guys need, you can find it in the description box down below. Wow. Wow, Gemini, your first card out is the Page of Wands, okay? So to me as a reader, the way that I read intuitively, sometimes the Page of Wands can just represent um, some news from a fire sign or some news about a passion of yours, uh, something that you're wanting to do, something you're wanting to take action on. Um, it could represent confirmation. Now this is showing up in the reverse position, and you know the Page of Wands um, and the Page of Swords to me in the reverse position, um, can it, it doesn't represent the best news or the best energy to me. So to me, this feels like there could be, like especially with it showing up in the reverse position because pages are messengers, it feels to me like there could be a subtle warning about something that you're getting ready to do, um, something you're getting ready to say, perhaps. Let's look at this. What's going on with this here? Two of Swords, Moon and Libra. Okay, we're going to, yeah, the Nine of Swords, the Three of Swords. Yes, there are multiple warnings here. Again, I think that they're very subtle. Um, some of you could be getting these through dreams with the Nine of Swords showing up here. It's like sleepless nights. You could be getting these through dreams, and I think that for a small portion of you, if we can get it to zoom in there and focus, um, there are two figures down there in the bed fighting. Um, some of you could have Mars and Gemini, but there's an internal battle going on here about something. It feels like this is something you want to say. Some of you could be having some relationship obstacles, possibly between three, uh, two or three people here, okay? Um, but the Three of Swords, you know, I feel as if you guys are struggling to find clarity in a situation or you're struggling to weigh out what feels just, like what feels fair to you. You have the Two of Swords right here, Moon and Libra. All right, so they're saying that it's important at this time to, before you make a decision, um, focus on what it is that your intuition is telling you because the moon does talk about your emotions, your intuition. So maybe you need to figure out uh, which one of those are speaking to you before you make a decision. Are you acting from um, what your intuition is telling you or are you acting from like what emotional triggers uh, are there? You know, so it could be something like that. But for others of you, um, you know, this is again, moon and Libra. Moon is, or Libra is all about justice, right? So she's having to act as those justice scales, right? intuition is having to guide her like what feels right what feels fair what feels just and she's got that blindfold on that's because she doesn't need to listen to anything outside of her so some of you you may be feeling some pressure from your relationships from outside influences to think a certain way to be a certain way to speak on something here Gemini uh, it could be something like that but they're saying you know to um I, I don't feel okay this is a specific message here, Gemini, but I do feel as if there could be someone pressuring you to conform to a certain idea or conform to a certain um, path that they want to go down. And it's like, it won't end there. Even if you conform to this to shut them up or to please somebody, it won't end there. It'll never be enough. That's the energy that I'm feeling here. It'll never be enough. It's only going to cause more and more relationship obstacles, okay? But yes, yeah, she has that blindfold on because it's all about looking within, like not listening to any external chatter, chatter when it comes to what she feels is right, what decision she feels is best so again i feel like there are warning signs here for you guys there are red flags so just pay attention when it comes to your relationships and who is putting a lot of pressure on you to do something that doesn't feel comfortable and doesn't feel right to you okay so we have the four of pentacles up next sun and capricorn let's look at this what's going on with the four of pentacles some of you could be saving up here there could possibly be some of you who um, need to clean up, okay? There could be something that you're hoarding here. Or many different things that you're hoarding. It's like there's an energy where some of you may need to clean out um, some clutter here within the next few days, okay? I feel like it could be affecting your energy. 
Mm. You have the Five of Wands uh, clarifying this here, okay? So I feel like some of you guys could be having some money issues here. I do think that that's going to clear up. You move from the Five of Wands to the Four of Wands. You got two fours right here. Fours do talk about stability, okay? Um, nose on the grindstone, so you could be really hard at work. You could be in a space, Gemini, within the next five days where you're isolating to put in the work on whatever this is here to resolve this conflict without any distractions. So I do see that taking place for some of you guys. Maybe you control the amount of income that um, you know you have, for example. Maybe it's um, that you're putting in a lot of work that you didn't uh, get to here in the previous part or in the first half of the month. It could be something like that with the Four of Pentacles you're isolating to catch up on things. This could also be on schoolwork for those of you who are students. It could be something like that. Um, actually, I think most people are on a break right now, but I do feel that you know, um, you're know you just catching up on something here, and I think that's why you move from the Five to the Four of Wands. So sometime within the next five days, whatever you've been dealing with, whatever conflict you've been dealing with, um, you're going to return to a place of stability Okay, for the time being. But I do see some of you choosing to isolate, choosing to not discuss discuss these issues with people. That's how this feels to me. You do have the Knight of Cups, so you're on a quest here. There's some kind of dream or vision or path that you're following. I do feel this energy of moving in silence, like you don't want this. You could have a competitive energy in your space. This could be a Capricorn or a Pisces, um, like somebody who has a problem with whatever it is that you're going for. So until you have some kind of success with that, um, you know, and until you're ahead of the game, you're not really discussing this with this individual, okay? So that's something else that I'm seeing here, Gemini. You have the Two of Cups showing up next. Somebody could have Venus and Cancer, okay? So let's see what we get for this two of cups I see some of you breaking away from a connection here Gemini um, and it feels like this could be a soulmate connection you do have the two of cups and the lovers and the Six of Cups all showing up here. Past life connection for sure, okay? For some of you. Now this Eight of Swords showing up here. Hold on one second. Uh, I think there's a lot of confusion, you know? I feel like you're really stuck in your head trying to figure out what you did here for somebody to take off on you because it seems like somebody has taken off on you. I feel like this has already happened, Gemini, if I'm being honest, so that part's not a prediction. I feel like in the current energy, you know, you're in your head, okay? You're in your head trying to figure out what happened here for this person to be aggressive towards me, like what went wrong. So you have the full card right here. Um, I see you guys kind of moving out of this energy. Let's look at it a little bit deeper. What's going on with that Knight of Wands? Because again, I feel that this is like a wishy-washy individual. It could be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. I'm not saying that those are traits of those uh, Zodiac signs, but I'm saying that these are the signs that are showing up in the cards, just to be clear, all right? I don't like the sign bashing, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, clarify that Knight of Wands. I think this person might have felt like you had a lot of, um, how do I put that there? Like emotional, I don't want to say emotional projection, but maybe you kind of uh, push beliefs or push feelings onto them that they weren't comfortable with exploring just yet. Um, they, they may have felt that you added pressure is what I'm feeling here, Gemini. For others of you, if that's not the case, um, and that's not me blaming you, like that could be just how this person feels. Like you had a lot of strong emotions here that they just weren't comfortable with. They didn't feel that they could match that energy. Um, for others of you, they could have been, it's possible that they were dealing with other people. It's possible, okay? Got Aries energy here as well as Cancer. Give me one more for this Knight of Wands got the queen of pentacles yeah i mean you guys have three queens out here three court cards so whether you're male or female doesn't really matter uh, we got capricorn here as well um but yeah i definitely see wishy-washy energy here with this person they're just not ready they're just not ready they're still in a really um explorative energy i guess you would say with that full card so yeah i don't feel that it's anything you did i don't feel that it's anything personal here gemini i think that this person just really enjoys their um freedom and they don't really like emotions they don't really like um the pressure that they feel was added so i don't know what happened here where they or why they felt like pressure was added you know sometimes people just misunderstand things so maybe that was not the case at all again that's just the way that they could be perceiving things so um i definitely see you guys needing to get out of that energy and move on something that's more stable or move on something that's matching your energy a little bit better because at this point in time despite how connected you are how much you have in common this person is just not acting out of um a serious space okay you have the lovers showing up next gemini that's your energy let's look at the lovers the magician and the knight of pentacles Ooh. okay got virgo and gemini here so double gemini double virgo 
Sorry guys, I'm getting over a cold in the hangman Pisces energy. Something has been stale for quite some time here, okay? For quite some time with that hangman and the knight of pentacles. It's been moving, you know? Uh, so for some of you guys, you've been in a situation where you have felt like, you know, something's not moving. You're like, it's not happening. It's not growing. Nothing's going right for me at all. It's that kind of energy that you've been in. So you've been seeing it as the hangman, but you really could have just been experiencing some delays, a few hiccups, like a few minor setbacks. But the Knight of Pentacles, it was moving the whole time. Everything's been happening in perfect timing the way that it's supposed to. I know that's frustrating to hear, but the Knight of Pentacles, although he's the slowest moving knight in the deck, he's so slow moving because like this is a card of attention to detail. He leaves no stone unturned. So when you finally do get this, um, it's going to be well worth the wait, Gemini. You have the Magician right here. So everything you manifested, it's coming to you. It's just this is something that you have to be patient for. Um, and then you have the lover's card. That's all clarifying the lover's card. The lover's is a decision. It's also a turning point. So if you guys have a new approach to something here, I do think that's going to work. So if this is like something, it feels that it's work or business related, if I'm being honest, although you could be manifesting the perfect partner, you know, it could be something like that here. But um, whatever it is that's coming in next, it's meant for you. It's what you manifested. So um, just be on the lookout for that. I think you guys are seeing it in this hangman energy where it's like nothing is happening, but Knight of Pentacles. It's just happening slowly okay but be patient Gemini I feel like you're going to start seeing um, some rewards here I think you're going to start seeing a return on that energy that you put out into the universe so whatever you've manifested be on the lookout for some signs that that is coming in okay you have the six of cups showing up next sun in Scorpio what's going on with that six of cups Four of Swords, reminiscing on the past for some of you, reminiscing on your childhood, missing someone who's passed on here. Some of you, like I said, there could be some guidance through dreams, okay? If I say this because of the guide up here in the window in the corner. Let it focus. Let me bring it back and there we go. Um, it, yeah, I think that's the best it's going to get, but up here in the corner you can see a guide and then you can see um, a child down here. So, uh, yeah, I do feel as if you guys could be receiving guidance through dreams or you could be reminiscing on your childhood, like trying to gain some clarity. And that's what he's resting on in this card here is truth, clarity. So um, I do feel that coming in for you guys. Some of you, it could just be clarity about the past here, okay? Give me two more on this for Gemini before we close things out. Nine of Wands. Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius, possibly um, Jupiter in Libra. Got the Page of Swords here as well. This is something you've been curious about for a long time, Gemini. And I think that you have been kind of tricking yourself out of a new opportunity here with the Seven of Swords being on the bottom of the deck. Like there's something here that you do not trust. Like it's a new approach to something. And again, this feels all new to me. So it's like whatever chapter you're about to step into, you're very curious about where that could lead, okay? You're very curious about where that could go for you, but it might be a big risk maybe it's um you know a financial risk or something of that nature but i feel like you have the tools under your belt because the page of swords can be a student um you know it's a curious observant energy i think this is something where you will learn as you go okay nine of wands here i think you guys have um kind of fallen a few times here but it's you know i feel like it's safe to get up when it comes to this approach right here now for those of you where this six of cups is representing an ex or a past person returning um i think you're wise in not trusting that especially if you feel it um especially if you've had a rough history with this person, okay? But as for like a new approach in work or business, or if you're wanting to go to school for something here, um, I definitely feel that uh, that would be a good um, idea, okay? And I think that you're getting some guidance about that. But that's what I'm seeing here for you, Gemini. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, please watch out for your other signs, and don't forget you guys to leave in the comments down below what you got, whether it was the same or whether it was different. Um, I'd love to see what you guys came up with here. So um, again, watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me and you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.